everyone, welcome to the Sea Dragon Slayer. My name is Kira, and thank you so much for joining. This is kind of an odd video for me. Normally, I record on the weekends and post on Mondays. And by normally, I mean I've only have like three floss tubes out. But I tried recording this past weekend, and I recorded twice, and both times it just it didn't work. I don't I don't know um, something with my editing or my upload, it just, it, it didn't work either times. So if you have a floss tube, please let me know how you do it. I'm trying this out on my phone. Um, I tried my phone once before, but it literally took like 24 hours for it to then fail and upload. Um, so what, what device do you use? What editing software do you use? Um, how how do you do what you do? <laughs> because I know there's tons of floss tubers out there and I've done a lot of research online and I still just, I don't know, I can't figure it out. Um, everybody thinks people my age should be tech whizzes and in some aspects I am, but I'm apparently not as far as recording, editing, and uploading videos to YouTube. But I really, really enjoy doing these videos so I'm just gonna keep on trying and hopefully I'll figure it out. Uh, but again, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Either leave me a comment, send me an email. I'll have my email in, um, in the description. Uh, connect with me on Instagram, send me a, like a message through Instagram, anything like that. I would really, really appreciate it. So like I said, I tried recording this weekend and it just, it didn't work. And then this week has just been, one of those weeks um, and today I was at work and it's a really busy day for me on Thursdays or kind of essentially like my Fridays um, where I do closing so on Wednesdays I close for two departments and then on Thursday I do a final close for the whole branch and it was just really stressful today I'm it's a new job since I moved to South Carolina and it's a completely new field it's an accounting and I don't, I don't have accounting experience. Um, my background is in education. I used to teach second grade here in South Carolina, and then um, my health got the better of me, and I since then have fiddled around with a few different other professions, um, mostly in retail work. And again, my body caught up with me, and lifting heavy things and running around sales floors all day was not working out either, so um, I always liked doing the bookkeeping aspect of those jobs, so I am now pursuing um, accounting, which I really, really like. I love it. It's just, it's a huge learning curve. Um, so it's just been, like I said, it's been one of those weeks, and it's been raining. Um, again, I'm in South Carolina. Uh, the last hurricane is now kind of the latest hurricane, not the last hurricane, because I know there's more. But the latest hurricane is kind of making its way through and it's just been really rainy and even though it's warmed up, it's still just kind of all the leaves are falling, which being from Florida, I'm still like getting used to again and I've just been really like, I don't know, down and everything. So I decided that I would try my hand again at YouTube at this Floss 2 video and yeah, I have some stuff to show for you. I'm not really that organized, so, and I don't plan on editing anything, um, just because I just really want this video to upload. <laughs> so, um, if there, there will probably be some odd bits and whatnot. Uh, another reason why I wanted to record was because I got two packages in the mail today, which I want to open up, because um, I really, really like opening it up with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Um, so something fun that I did this weekend, besides frustratingly attempt to <laughs> record videos, was that my family, we all got together on Discord and we did a craft and chat. So my sister, uh, who's out in Colorado, and her husband um, joined us briefly, and then my parents, who are now in Florida, uh, we all got together. Uh, we used the platform Discord. We had, had done Zoom calls before, but um, they are limited to 45 minutes. 
uh, at least as far as we are aware, um, without paying for it. And that's just not enough time for my family. So we um, jumped onto Discord, which as far as we're aware is unlimited time. Um, and it was a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, my sister, she made a poncho. It was a 90 minute uh, fleece poncho. And she cut the pattern out, stitched it all together, and had a finished product by the end of our crafting time. Um, originally, I was like inserting pictures of their projects, but like I said, I'm just going to hope, like, cross my fingers, cross my toes that this is going to get uploaded without me even trying to edit anything, and then we'll slowly build back in editing stuff. But I will try to post it on my Instagram, so make sure you check that out. Um, my link will be down below in the description. And then my mom, she worked on a couple projects. One was uh, her candy bags. So what she does is she takes like actual candy bags, and then she cuts them up and she irons on, like does some like iron on vinyl. And then she stitches them into like actual bags with zippers. So it was really, really cute. So she worked on a few of those. And then she also worked on stitching some um, half square triangles because I gave her all of my scraps from my fall quilt um, that I showed off in my first video, which is currently at work actually right now. And so she was working on stitching half square triangles. She's not sure exactly what she's gonna do with it. Um, there's not enough to make like a whole quilt or anything because it is just scraps so she's still pondering that but got a little bit of sewing in and then my dad he worked on his shishiko pattern so he's done a couple shishiko shirts before and a couple years ago I purchased I got him a pattern of like this really cute bunny and he's been working on that um, on and off for for a bit now so he got quite a bit of that done it turned out really, really nice. Uh, it's turning out really nice. He's not quite done yet. And then what I worked on, and I actually finished it this weekend, which I guess is a plus for this video being late, trying to stay positive, um, is actually for a secret gift exchange in one of my Facebook groups that I'm part of, the International Cross Stitchers. And so I'm gonna show it off now. Normally I'd save this kind of stuff to the end where I have a presents section, but since this is a secret Santa or a secret gift exchange, um, all inclusive, uh, we, uh, sorry, I feel that it's fine to go ahead and show it off because the person who I got doesn't know I got them. And I'm not even sure if they watch me or anything like that. And I don't think it's, and necessarily a dead giveaway. <clears throat> so the other week I showed off where I got this ornament. I got it from, I can't remember if it was Michael's or Joann's, but it was like a dollar with my coupon. And the person that I received, she has dachshunds. So I um, went online and I looked up some like different freebie patterns on Pinterest and everything like that. I couldn't find one I liked exactly, so I kind of made my own. But this is this is a little dachshund, and it says uh, "dashing through the snow," and I I always love puns. Originally, I had designed his sweater or its sweater to uh, be red and green checkered, but when I stitched it, I actually really liked the look and the feel of just the red with the negative space and uh, since I do want to get this out ASAP um, it saved a lot of time not stitching it out on there so I think it turned out really cute I just finished it on um, some um, foam board and I just used double-sided tape and stuck it to the back and then I glued it onto the back of the ornament so I think it turned out really well well, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll actually get a decent, uh, uh, freeze frame. I don't know how that works, but, uh, <laughs> most of mine have me with my mouth open with something, so maybe I'll get a nice one. Uh, yeah, so this is all ready to go out in the mail. I also got her a couple other little goodies to go with it, and then this morning before work, um, 
I went ahead and made up this little card to go with it. So um, she does celebrate Christmas, which is why I wrote Merry Christmas on it. I did um, make sure that that was the holiday that she celebrated. And then I just kind of did a little stylized tree. It's really simple. So if you guys are looking for a quick and simple Christmas card, all you do is draw a triangle and then section it off. And I used watercolor, but you can use colored pencils or crayons and just color in different colors. I did shades of green and then I just cut out a little star for the top. And I just used black Sharpie for all the black. So all I have to do is just write the card and then I'm going to wrap all of her gifts individually because I know at least for me I really enjoy opening things. So yeah, hopefully I will get that off in the mail sometime um, early next week. I was going to say this week but it's it's already... It's already Thursday. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Wednesday because I don't know. I closed today and it was it was a big ordeal. And let's see. Oh, so yeah, like I said, I'm not really too prepared. Present, present, present. Most everything that I worked on is presents. I'm kind of in Christmas panic mode right now. Um, just because I'm trying to get everything done. But actually, I'm. I'm almost ready to call it call it done. I have I have almost everybody's done. So let's move on to some happy mail. Um, <laughs> my really really good friend Bonnie down in Florida. Um, she sent me a Halloween card the other day that she drew herself, and it's absolutely adorable. And I'm going to be sticking this with um, my other friend, Merle, down in Florida. She sent me a Halloween card as well. So I have these together so I can look at them and enjoy them and just cherish my great friendship that I have with them. And my mom sent me a package and it was, it was amazing. So like I said, I'm not really prepared, but... She sent me like this fuzzy hooded long sleeve kind of like just below the knee like minky which is kind of like a like a fleece poncho thingy I don't even know what to call it but it was like really really fuzzy and awesome and I love it it's it's just it's actually warm so I'm wearing short sleeves right now um so she sent me that along with a couple other goodies one of which is a cross stitch kitchen towel so it has the cross stitch section and it's actually a pretty decent sized towel and it comes with a butterfly pattern but I do have a book with um, other dish towel patterns so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do on this um, if you guys did watch my first video um, or if you haven't watched my first video it's long but I do show off a lot of old projects that I'd done um, since my start of cross-stitching. But I had done a panda hand towel, like a bathroom hand towel, that I still have in my bathroom and I love it and it brings me joy. So I'm excited to have something a little bit larger maybe to stick in the kitchen. Um, not too sure exactly what I'm going to do with that, but thank you mom. And then something else she sent me was a kit for um, little hanging signs. So they're all little like, I think they're called pennants. Um, and I think I actually have a kit like this, but they're a little bit larger. So it comes with the floss and it also comes with an alphabet. But I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to stitch on it, but it is cute and I enjoy it. She got all of this at um, a craft outlet up in Michigan. There's like this huge outlet store, craft outlet store, and you never know what they have. Um, a lot of times they have like tons of scrapbooking stuff and stamps and quilting stuff and occasionally needlework stuff. And it's really cool and really awesome. They have good deals. And my parents uh, popped in uh, not too long before they left Michigan, and she found a couple things to, to send to me. The other thing she sent me, I'm actually using as a gift, so I will show that off at the end when I do my presents section. 
So now for some haul that I haven't opened yet that I'm really, really excited about. The one I know exactly what it is. Um, this came from Alyssa from Stitchonomy. So I am working on the Halloween stitch along. <clears throat> Out of my reach. So I'm working on the Halloween stitch along and should have probably watched my other video before recording this, but I don't remember the last time I showed it off. But this is kind of new, this one's new, and this one's new. These are like the last three that I've worked on. But what she had, so she had kits that you could purchase. And I'm not usually a kit person because I just like to do my own fabric. I really enjoy dyeing fabric. Um, as well as I'm pretty picky about the count of my fabric. And then I've never done a floss kit before. Um, I'm just always worried if I do a floss kit that I'm just going to run out of floss because I am no form, shape, or way stingy on my floss when I start getting kind of towards the end or it gets frayed or when I just get a whole new piece. So I'm really afraid that if I do a floss kit, that I would run out of floss. But something she had in her kits, she actually had some extras. So she put them up for sale. And I thought it was just too adorable to pass up. So make sure nothing else is in there. It's just as adorable in person. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she, um, she put her card, she put her card in there. So if you guys are curious, um, she is international. Um, it just slipped my brain exactly where she is. Um, but Alyssa from Stitchonomy, she also, um, has signups now for her winter stitch along, but I got a little pumpkin charm. I'm sorry, my lighting's really bad. Let me, does that help at all? No, I think that makes it worse. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. So I got a little pumpkin charm. Let me turn that light off again. Okay. Ah, that sort of works. How do I, how do you guys do that? Also, you're focusing. Um, so it's a little pumpkin charm. Take my word for it. It's adorable. It's cute. And so I'm going to have to rip out a little bit, but he, it goes, so I'm trying to, um, stop genderizing my inanimate objects, but it goes on, on where like the little pumpkin guy is the pumpkin is. So I'm going to have to take out a couple stitches because she had designed um, uh, one without the charm and then a slightly altered pattern that goes better with the charm. But it's going to go right there and I'm excited. Um, however, this project is currently on the back burner. All the patterns have been released and uh, uh, a new floss tuber that I've been watching, uh, DNA Geek Stitch. I'll, I'll make sure I'll put her link, um, in the descriptions below as well as my floss, um, my link haven. But, um, I'm really enjoying her floss tubes and something that she said in one of her latest floss tubes was that when a stitch along has all of the patterns released, it's gonna become a regular whip and not prioritize like her other stitch alongs. And that's kind of what I've decided for this. So I do wanna to continue to work on it probably post holidays because again, right now everything's crunch time, but I'm really excited about the charm. Uh, like I said, Alyssa from Stitchonomy I love her designs. I love her pattern. She's just an awesome person herself. Her stitch alongs are so much fun because um, they're cute, they're quick, 
and she's also open to you adapting patterns or using your own imagination to kind of like design some of your own patterns to go with it. Um, like the hill here, the brain in the jar, the toad, the handprints, those are all patterns that people designed on the Facebook group. So she is doing a winter stitch along. I'm pretty sure that it's still free to sign up. So even if you don't plan on stitching it as a stitch along, I would still recommend you signing up because I can guarantee you the pattern's gonna be spectacular and then you'll have it in your stash for the future. So the other haul I got, a little less stitchy related, but um, we'll sort of tie in. So it came in this cute packaging. It's, um, it's from Melissa uh, Francis and her, it's called Mimosa Studio. So I follow her on Instagram and I also have her Etsy shop favorited and she recently had some good sales. So she does a lot of enamel pins, all her own designs, uh, some fan art pins, some of just like really adorable animals that she's designed. She also does um, journal uh, stationery, which is another reason why I placed an order because I have two uh, new pen pals, one in the UK and one on Australia. So I was like, well, <laughs> what more of an excuse do I need to buy cute stationery? So she had some stationery and then she also does like some bags and a few other things too. So she was running a sale. I'm not sure if it's still going on. And I was up really early one morning and not quite ready to get out of bed. So what did I do? Of course I went and chopped. <laughs> so, oh, everything's wrapped. They're all in cute bags. Um, there is something in here that is a gift. So that I'll show off again at the end. So they're all like in little bags and they have a sticker. So one of the things I did also was she had like a mystery grab bag. So I added that on there because I needed a little bit more for free shipping and I'm a sucker for spending more than I was planning on just to save a little bit for shipping. <laughs> but let's open up this one first. This is so cute. I'm gonna like carefully open it. I don't know. I know holidays are coming up, but I'm not sure about you guys, but my sister and I, it would take us so long to open up all of our presents because we were like tape peelers and we like reused the same uh, wrapping paper and the same bags for like years. I'm pretty sure that at my parents' place in Florida, there is a mouse birthday bag from like my sister's like first birthday or something that still is being used. Um, just because recycling, I mean, it's not like we're short on funds or anything like that. But we all would always take our time to carefully open everything. I know the suspense is probably killing you guys, it's killing me too. Let me see. So she also does washi tape. So she um, put this in the bag and she has some washi tape that is Studio Ghibli. So there's a little ponyo and the tree spirits and some sit sprites and Totoro and a little bit of Gigi. Okay, so this is the mystery bag because I was like, I didn't order this, but it's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is one of her own designs. It's not... Um, it's not a fandom design. It is an enamel pen, like I said, but I do plan on grinding off the back and turning into a needle minder. But it's a little fox with an airplane. And that color, Bonnie, <laughs> look at that color. I really need to figure out the lighting too. That's on my list of things to figure out as soon as I also figure out how to edit and upload videos. But that's adorable. That is so cute. And then on the back, if you guys are into actual um, enamel pins, she does have some, some nice uh, rubber stoppers on the back. What else is in here? 
So I got a little note on super cute Totoro paper. It says, thank you so much. I hope you like everything. And then she signed her name. That's adorable. So far, so good. I do love it. Um, okay, so this, she kind of combined. So this one here is for a gift. So I will show that off in a little bit. This is one of, one of the main reasons why I ordered. Um, it is a purple pirate T-Rex with a parrot. Man, the lighting's really bad. I'll, I'll post pictures on my Instagram. How about that? But it's adorable and it will soon be a needle minder. Um, I'm hoping to get a, uh, a Dremel for Christmas. Because the last few times that I've done needle minder batches, I've been at my parents' place, either in Florida or Michigan, and I don't have one currently, so that's on my Christmas list. So once I get a Dremel, I have like a board of pins that I want to convert to needle minders, and I'll have to do that. But it's adorable, and she has two different colors. Uh, I think the other one's blue, but my favorite color is purple, so I got that. And then, let's see, oh, it's, it's taped, sorry, with the adorable washi tape. I should have ordered some. I don't really do washi tape, uh, but maybe now that I have pen pals, I'll do more. That doesn't work, all he sees my face. So this is, this is some of her washi, it's, it's, it's nice, washi tape actually. So this is some, it has... Totoro and the soot sprites. So again, me and my little hoarder self, that's going to go over there. Sorry. And then here's a little bit more. There's a uh, calcifer and um, ponio and um, from Spirited Away. So that's really cute washi tape. So if you guys do like washi tape, she does have both fandom washi tape as well as non-fandom washi tape. So oh, I got a little like card. Like it's not a postcard, but it definitely could probably be turned into a postcard. But they're a little teapot bears, and it's purple. I love purple. This is this is something that's a mystery. Um, uh, part of the mystery package. And then, let's see. Oh, okay, so I got some more stationery stuff. So, I got some blank paper that is like a little panda and a kitty and a fox. This is unlined. It is one-sided, um, but it's, it's really nice. So I got a couple of sheets there. And then, so this is, this is one that I did order. Um, so it's the same paper, kind of like that, but it's, it's lined. And it comes with stickers, so matching stickers. So that's really, really cute. And then I did get a fandom one, um, which is Studio Ghibli. So it has Totoro, I guess I'll just turn it that way. So the tree spirits, the soot sprites, um, the faceless guy from uh, um, Spirited Away, Ponyo, Gigi, Totoro, Mini Totoro, and Calcifer. Um, and then the paper has similar things and it's lined as well. Um, sorry, I'm not gonna open this just because I want to keep it together and keep it nice And my craft room is currently a disaster and if I set it down While it's out of the package who knows what will happen. So that's everything out of that package Man, this is getting a long video. Hopefully it'll upload. We'll see. So the next package Still gonna be careful because I really like this sticker Okay, that was easy to open her Um, so exciting. Oh my gosh. So, okay. 
So this is this is like the mystery, and I think I did like partial fandom, uh, partial not, because I liked all the fandom she did. So it's toothless. It's a little zipper pouch, and um, oh, nice. It has another zipper uh, pouch on the inside. I'm always down for more pouches. Um, so this will be a really great project bag, and it's adorable. I love Toothless. I love How to Train Your Pet Dragon. My sister actually did a really cool costume, um, as, as a female character a couple years ago. Sorry, it's in, it's in packaging, and there's a lot in the package, so I'm gonna, I am gonna open this, because it's not paper. It's a grr. So, um, it's from Invader Zim, which I'm obsessed with Gur, but the show itself I just tried watching recently and it's like, meh, but my fiance is super into doom metal and I always make fun of him because I'm like, oh, it's like Gur in the doom song, go doomy, 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 doomy. So, <laughs> it's adorable. And I got a lanyard. That is, again, Ghibli related. It's kind of like the um, the washi tape. So that's really nice. I don't really use lanyards a whole lot, but I can always put scissors on it. I do, I say I don't use lanyards, but I have this lanyard with um, my teeny scissors that I use. So perfect, there, never mind. I do use lanyards. And then I got a little, I think it's foam charm, but my phone doesn't have a thing for a charm, but it's this. I don't know what this is from. It's probably, it looks like it's something from a video game. Um, if you know, uh, sorry, my ring, it's, my ring turned around. Um, let me know. What, what is, what is this character from? It is adorable. Um, it's made out of like a th thick plastic and everything. It is one-sided, but still cute. And then let's see what all I got here. So this is paper, but it's kind of all stacked in there. So I am going to open it and see what's, what's all in here. So I got a poster. This I think is from Animal Crossing. I don't know. Um, I know that's really, really popular right now. I don't play it. I haven't played it. I have some friends that play it, so maybe I'll ask them. And if they know and they like it, this will go to them. But, um, so it's really cute. I just like her style in general. And then I got some, uh, Sailor Moon stickers. And I actually recently just watched Sailor Moon for the very first time, like a couple months ago. Binge watch it, of course, because that's that's how I go. And I really liked it, so I'm glad I got that. And then, ooh. So these stickers are, like, shiny. I wonder if they're a little bit more waterproof. Um, but it's Alice in Wonderland. So I'm sure there's some Alice in Wonderland fans out there. I know there is currently a stitch along that I've seen on some floss tubes. So if you guys are looking at for uh, some stickers, check her out. So yeah, sorry that kind of took a bit, but I did get a lot and I love it all. Um, again, that was Melissa uh, Francis from Mimosa Studio. She has an Instagram, which I highly recommend you following because it's adorable. And then she also has an Etsy that she sells her stuff on. This came fast. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, it came from Tennessee. So no wonder it came fast. But, like, I ordered it, and I swear it was here, like, the next day. But, yeah, so that is my haul. And now all I have to show, which I still have actually a lot to show, but it's all presents. So now is the time where I'm going to tell my friends, family, and my pen pals, who are now quickly becoming my friends. Um, also, shout out Claudia from Australia, my pen pal. Thank you so much for reaching out to me the other day. Um, she messaged me the other day amongst the election hoorah and just wanted to make sure I was okay because apparently she turned on the telly to um, just watch some TV and cross-stitch and on every single channel was the American elections. 
So <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing good, much better now. Um, I'm sorry to all of my international friends that are also having to deal with this. Um, it, it was, it was crazy. It was stressful. Um, it still kind of is until fully office, but yeah, not talking politics, but thank you so much for reaching out to me. But again, friends, uh, close friends that are probably going to be expecting gifts from me for the holidays, family, and my international cross stitch, uh, pen pals. Nice seeing you. See you next time. For those that are still here, I have some really fun stuff to show you. So the first thing that I have is a pattern I designed myself. It's for my brother-in-law. And oh, here we go. I started using it for something else too, but this is kind of like my brain designing patterns. He really likes coffee and I really wanted to do, I had so many of those enamel coasters that I wanted to do, oops, sorry, hopefully that didn't. That's one thing I forgot. So I'm using my phone. I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb. But um, so I designed him a coffee bean black work coaster. Let me know if you guys think it looks like coffee beans because I showed it to my fiance and he thought that they were hamburger buns with like wavy edges. So I tried, I tried really hard. I looked online for some black work coffee bean patterns and I just couldn't find any. And then I kind of looked for some other coffee patterns and there were some really cute ones, but I wanted something that would fit in here. So I designed that. This coaster was really easy to put together. It came with sticky board to put it on and that was the first time I used like official sticky board. And now I understand why people are obsessed with it. I might need to start investing in some sticky board because currently I use like double-sided tape and it, it works, but this was like amazing. Um, so I did that for him. So he's done. My sister is done. I showed that off in the other video. And then something else though for my sister is part of the stuff that I got from Melissa. And it's a little mouse and an airplane so it is an enamel pin I am gonna leave it as an enamel pin because I think she would use that more um, she's not a cross stitcher she is a knitter quilter crocheter musician everything else but hasn't started cross stitching um, so I am gonna leave it as like a little enamel pin she loves mice that's her favorite animal and then guys I have like a mountain of stuff over here um, I worked some on my in-laws gift and this is actually going pretty quickly. So I did what I said I was going to do last time, which I don't even know if last time was an actual posted video or not. I'm so confused now, but this is Love Disney. Um, this is from My Easy Stitch on Etsy. It's really blowing it out. And all I have to do left is the gloves are going to be filled in with white and the middle is going to be red and it's going to say love. And then I'm going to, uh, my mom had a great idea of putting this in a frame that had like a second frame below it, whether it was hanging or just like a double frame. So then they can change out the bottom picture um, with different pictures of their trips to Disney. So I thought that was a great idea. Obviously they're not going to Disney anytime soon, but last year they did go um, on a Disney cruise for uh, my mother-in-law's birthday. And then um, they have been to Disney so many previous times. So I think that'd be something fun that they can swap that photo out. And then I did get a little bit more on my Peppermint Purple Black Work. So this is a present for my dad for his birthday, which is in February. So I have a little bit more time, but I do want to um, get working on this because I want to get it framed. So since last time, I think, I did uh, these two blocks right here. So hopefully this week I'll get this row done. It's going to be similar to up here where it's a complete row and it's gonna have the second half of the quote on there. So yeah, I really like how that turned out. 
I always kind of like drag my feet to work on this because I'm, I'm not a big black, like, this is my first black work project, so I'm still learning how to do it. And sometimes, like, the patterns confuse me. Um, it's by Peppermint Purple. I can't remember if I said that or not. Like I said, it's been one of those days. Um, Peppermint Purple. It's on, if you join their Facebook group, it's free. They are also planning a 2021 stitch along. But, yeah, I always kind of drag my feet to work on this because I'm like, it's it's hard. But then I get stitching and then it's it's easy. It doesn't take me too long. So, yeah, that's that's about all. Um, hopefully everybody's had a great week. And I'm trying to stay positive. Like I said, today is Thursday. It was my busy day. It was essentially my Friday. Tomorrow I'm going to go get new nails done, um, which I'm excited about. That's kind of my latest little present perk that I give give to me. Um, I go twice twice a month now. I have a membership which makes it a whole lot cheaper and I really like where I go. Everybody's really friendly, extremely sanitary. Um, and then as far as COVID precautions goes, awesome place. Um, it's called the Nail, Nail Bar, B-A-R-R-E, because they also have a bar workout facility next door. It's kind of owned by the same owner. Um, but yeah. I hope everybody has a great rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. Not sure if I'm going to record again this weekend, um, but we will see. Fingers crossed that this will upload. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do like my videos, go ahead and subscribe because as much as I would like to stay on a consistent schedule, like this video, I have no idea. I'm at the mercy of the technology gods. So again, if you guys also have any suggestions on how to do this better, please let me know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a crafty week and have a good one. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back real quick. I know I said I wasn't gonna do any editing, but as I was watching it, I realized that when I showed off the envelope, I had shown off my address and I'm just trying to stay safe. So I had to edit for that. And then also watching, I realized that I forgot to show off two other presents that I worked on. One of which um, is um, uh, something that my mom had found this. So she had gotten me a cross stitch bracelet. And I went ahead and designed this little pattern and stitched up this bracelet for my really good friend Bonnie. Um, she's obsessed with penguins. Her favorite color is blue, so I did a blue penguin for her, and my favorite color is purple, so I did a purple penguin for me. So I really like how that turned out. All I have to do is um, figure out how to put um, a backing on it. Um, I did share this in some of my Facebook groups, and I got some good suggestions on how to finish the back. Um, but if you do have any other suggestions, just let me know. So she always, like, always I think I may have even seen her once um without but she always has like bracelets basically from here to here like on her arms so I know she'll love it and then the other thing that I forgot to show off I'm currently working on is for my mom so I'm going to turn this into a little um uh fob fob pillow so I'm gonna like cut it and stitch it and stuff it so I did a little flower and this is just a, a free freebie pattern I found um, and then I did an L her um, her name is LaJean so I thought it'd be nice to do something kind of personalized so I have a little bit of um, back stitching I'm gonna do here on the L and then I get to stitch it together into a pillow and then turn it into a little um, fob keychain thing. So yeah, uh, again, fingers crossed this video will upload. We will see if you're watching this, that means it worked. Um, again, not too sure if I'm going to be recording again this weekend or not, but also if you guys have any suggestions on how to make this easier, please let me know. Um, I appreciate that. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are great. Have a wonderful rest of the week and a great weekend, and stay crafty. Okay, guys, bye.